a scripture and we're going to try to glean from it and right. we're going to try to speak from it and uh, amen help us with it the 28th chapter don't get afraid the 28th chapter of the book of Matthew's gospel a very familiar passage of scripture all of God's word is right all by itself amen the 28th chapter and we uh, uh, coming to the last verse of the 28th chapter, and as the Lord hath dealt with me about it, is verse number 20. Mm -hmm. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. Verse 20 reads on this wise, Matthews, the 28th chapter, at verse 20. Teaching, teaching them to observe to, all things. To observe all things. Whosoever I commanded you. And whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo. And lo. I am with you I always. I am with you always. Even unto the ends of the even world. Even to the ends of the world. Amen. One more scripture. I said one, but the, I hear another Scripture ringing in my ears. Let me obey the Lord. Amen. Amen. 16th chapter now of the book of Matthews. Uh, Mark, excuse me, Mark. The 16th chapter. And we're looking at verse 15 and 16. And it's going to be the final scriptures, I believe. Hear the word of the Lord. 16th chapter now at verse... 15 and 16. Hear the word of the Lord. And he said unto them. And he said unto them. Go ye, go ye into all the world. And he said unto them. Go ye into all the world. And preach the gospel. And preach the gospel. To every creature. To every creature. He that believeth. He that believeth. And is baptized. And is baptized. Shall be saved. Shall be saved. Say, but he that believeth not, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Shall be damned. All right. I want to glean from Matthew's the twenty-eighth chapter portion of that twentieth verse. This morning we want to talk about observing whatsoever I have commanded you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Observing all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for the reading and thank you for the hearing and thank you for the doers of your word. Now, Lord, these two passages of scripture, we need you right now, Lord, to unravel to bring revelation, O oh God, of these two passages of Scripture, Lord, that you have given to your disciples. Now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you would bring all things to my remembrance. We pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you would touch me with an anointing, yes. with the unction of the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Lord, speak this morning mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bring revelation. Oh God, in such a way Lord, that oh God, that men and women would hear oh God, what you have said mm -hmm. and obey your word. To obey your word, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord, we ask these blessings and all other blessings and all the people of God said, Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I want to say in this passage of scripture, most what you would say in the Protestant world, uh, in Christian, have taken these few passages of scripture and really feel that they obey the Lord. Mm -hmm. In fact, that foundation, if you please, is a solid foundation mm -hmm. 
whether their foundation is wrong is still solid. Mm -hmm. uh, it's solid because they, put, they really believe that they have what God has commanded them to do. Amen. There are ordinances that Jesus himself have given to the disciples or amen, the apostles. Mm -hmm. Two in particular uh, uh, that he have given to the apostles was amen, as we have read in Mark the 16th chapter to go out and preach the gospel to every creature. Mm -hmm. One ordinance that he have given that you and I must observe because it's the foundation for Christianity. Mm -hmm. And all those other religions that we sometimes say and they have missed the mark but they try their very best in their ignorance to try to obey. Amen. Whether it's wrong, they're still trying to obey. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And that is serving Holy Communion. That's an ordinance that you and I must adhere and to obey. Amen. For the Lord himself said, do this in memory of me. Mm -hmm. Oh, praise the Lord. That's one of the first ordinances uh, that he has given Amen. And with the other ordinance, we must observe and to do yeah. is a command that he said, go you into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yeah. If he that believeth and is baptized yeah. shall be saved. Hallelujah. He that believeth not shall be damned. Amen. Whenever we take out, praise the Lord, amen, to observe Amen. Those two ordinances that have been given to the apostles, we will find ourselves, praise the Lord, neglected. Amen. One of the foundations that the Lord is looking for when he comes. So in Christian, in the Protestant world, amen to God, they will continue. Praise the Lord. Amen. One of the religions, and I'm not trying to pick this morning, uh, mm -hmm. one of the religions that uh, baptize infants because not really baptizing them, you know, amen, they're sprinkling them in a, a form of baptism amen. Uh, to serve the Lord's Supper every uh, uh, Sunday morning, uh, uh, allow them to feel that uh, we have not departed, we are still, amen, adhering uh, to what the Lord have commanded us to do. I wish I had an amen. Yeah, amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. If I'm telling some kind of truth, praise the Lord. Amen. So, uh, what where they fail, and uh, this would have to be done in uh, a Bible class where, Amen. They left off uh, sanctification, mm -hmm. uh, they left off justification, mm -hmm. and they left off glorification. All right. Uh, we just don't stop. Praise the Lord with the teaching. We understand that, Amen. The God, we walked into Amen. The God, the book of Acts, and the book of Acts uh, began to teach us that uh, Amen. One thing that we must do, got to do, praise the Lord, is to repent Hallelujah. of our sins. Uh, go down in water in the name uh, and not the titles. Uh, we do baptize in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Uh, not only in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we do it, but we do it for the remission of sin. Yeah. And Jesus said, who sin that you have remitted uh, is remitted indeed. I remit them for you. Yeah. Oh, praise the Lord. And certainly, uh, amen to God, we don't take lightly, amen, observing the Lord's Supper. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. And, and certainly, if I had just a little time uh, to deal with, uh, in the world of Christian, that's what brings, amen to God, the great division among Christianity. Now, it's between 
those ordinances. Amen to God. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. Amen to God. Oh, yeah. It's the teaching. Amen. Uh, the religion that believed that uh, for the sprinkling. Uh, amen to God. And if you take uh, communion, uh, then your sins are forgiven. Uh, oh, praise the Lord. And that's why they are confused that they can put uh, somebody just got killed in a club. All right. Oh, Come on. Come on in. Turn around and put him in heaven. All right. Oh, praise the Lord. What are you talking about this morning? Oh, praise the Lord. To observe. So, uh, amen to God, uh, when we read, uh, amen to God, uh, the apostle, uh, amen, went to the upper room uh, as they were commanded to do, uh, amen to God, and they waited, uh, amen to God, they just didn't go on a feeling, uh, but they waited, uh, they waited on tell, uh, amen to God, that came a sound, uh, and it was from heaven, uh, and and it was as a rushing uh, and a mighty wind uh, and it filled the house uh, where they were sitting uh, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost uh, and Jesus had told them uh, when the spirit of truth uh, will come uh, and then it will bring all things uh, to your remembrance uh, whatsoever I have told you Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. So, when, amen to God, when the noise was abroad, you know, God will make some noise so people can come and see what is the noise. And when they came, they were confounded and said, what mean is this? These are full of new wine. Oh, praise the Lord. But Peter began to let them know, these are not drunk as you said suppose, but this is God, what Joel has prophesied about, that in the latter day, I will pour out my spirit, oh, and that brings us to Jesus said, when Nicodemus, unless or except a man or woman is born again, they cannot enter into the kingdom of God. What you're saying, I'm saying water baptism, Jesus' name, amen, the God in the filling of the Holy Ghost, goes sweet, just like pancake and syrup, pancake don't taste good, okay, you put a little syrup on it. Hallelujah, preach, Woo, boy. you preach this thing, good, you're doing it, yes, sir. I'm coming down close, but they, <laughs> they had to observe. Yes. Amen. All things. Yes. When he preached it, mm -hmm. they cried out, Men and brethren, what shall we do? What shall we do? What it took we? somebody, uh, amen to God, to observe uh, when he said, Therefore, uh, let the house of Israel uh, know as sure uh, that God have made uh, this same Jesus uh, whom you have crucified, uh, both Lord and Christ. Uh, and when they heard this, uh, when they heard this, they said, Men and brethren, yes. what shall we do? My God. He told them. Hallelujah. Well, the 24th chapter mm -hmm. of the book of Luke. Uh -huh. Verse 45 said, Then open he that understanding. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thus it behoove Christ That's right. to, suffer to suffer and to be raised the third day. That's the word. And that repentance yes, sir. and remission of sin. Should be preached Ooh. in his name of yeah, yeah. all nations. Yes, sir. Be gathered at Jerusalem. Observe that. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. So Peter told him, repent. That's what you do. Just don't go down in water. Mm -hmm. Ask God that is so willingly. Mm -hmm. And so able 
Can I say it like a fish? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Oh, Bishop. Don't miss on the opportunity that God is willing. Mm -hmm. He's willing to forgive yes, when he brings you to the place of the knowledge of believing that water baptism in Jesus' name will remit your sin. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm -hmm. all right. Thank you. Now ask God, bring them all up. Mm -hmm. Lord, whatever I've done yes. 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 that was not right in your sight, yes. whatever, whatever. Ah, hallelujah. Lord, Thank oh, you. Lord. Take advantage of the situation. Because yes. now God want the wars them all away yeah. and they'll never be remembered no more. They'll be in the sea of forgetfulness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if I can use a quote, amen, Paul, Apostle Matthew, no, he said, <laughs> When in the sea of forgetfulness, God got a sign that said, no fishing. Come on, preach. All right. Ain't nothing you can go back and get. Come on, Bishop. Amen. You can't go back and remember. I, I remember. Friend, it don't matter if you remember. God don't remember. Uh-huh. Woo! You better preach. He said, I will not remember your iniquity. No. My God, my God. Oh, what a privilege. God forgive. God have mercy. mercy. Y'all didn't hear that. You better preach. I said, God have mercy. Hey, hey. My God, my God. Oh, what, a, what a privilege. Amen to God. I feel like I need to be back. Hallelujah. My God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, you better preach. Yes. My God, my, my God. God, my God. Hallelujah. I'm kind of in the envy, although I've been down in water in the name of Jesus. Come on. I'm being kind of in the envy because uh, why? Uh, today that amen to God uh, is a new beginning. Uh, come on. Uh, I say it's a new beginning. Uh, old things have passed away. Behold, all things uh, have become new. Uh, I'm trying to quit uh, right now. Uh, History. What a privilege. Yeah. No wonder the songwriters say, What a friend yeah. we have in Jesus. All our Lord have mercy. All our sins to bear. What a privilege to carry them all to the body. He said, when I got baptized in Jesus' name, he said, when they pulled me up out of that water, mm -hmm. and when I got out of that water, I looked back and saw an old image. And he said, when I saw that old image, I told that old image, stay right there, because you've been buried in some of the water. Don't you get up with me? Yeah, yeah. Stay right. 